Hi everyone, it's been a while since I filmed a video. I have a couple of projects that I want to do today. So the first project is that I want to try flower pressing. I think the only method of pressing flowers that I know of is to put the flowers inside the pages of a book, but I don't really want to do that because all of my books are old books that I've bought secondhand, and I don't want to run the risk of ruining the books. What I have instead is probably a terrible idea, but I have some glass, and then I have some yoga blocks. What I'm thinking is I'm gonna put a sheet of glass, sheets of kitchen roll, the flowers, more kitchen roll, the yoga block, and then books on top of that. And hopefully that's gonna be heavy enough that it does the job. But I don't know. I mean, this is a classic half-baked idea that I haven't really thought through yet, so I might just have a quick Google before I start. Probably the best looking one is this one. That one's still got most of its colour. So originally my plan was to put these inside these two frames that I bought and put like a couple of dried roses in one and then a dried lily in the other one. But I kind of feel like these are going to be a little bit too small unless I just have the one rose. Maybe it'll work with this frame or maybe it won't. I don't know, but I'll figure that out later. Cut that there. Well, these leaves don't look that bad actually. I might leave the leaves on this one. Leave the leaves. Oh, this is so scary. <laughs> and then squish. When I take them upstairs, I'll put a couple of heavy books on top to hopefully squish it down. So that's one. For the lilies, maybe this one, if I can get the pollen off. I'm gonna try and get, oh, I just snapped it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that doesn't bode well because I think they're all just going to snap if that one's already snapped. There was a lot of crunchy noises there. But you know what? I'm just going to trust the process. Maybe I'll dry the rose petals out. Wiggle them free. That's such a satisfying sound. <laughs> I mean, I have done the whole put rose petals in the bath thing before, but in my experience they end up getting stuck to the side of the bath and they're a bit of a nightmare to clean, so I probably won't be doing that. I'm going to um, lay these out so that they're all flat and not touching, and then that will be the rose petals. I actually have something else that I really want to do today. So because we have a very small front and back garden, I really want everything that I grow to be either edible by us, edible by the gerbils, or otherwise usable. But with that in mind, I bought some sunflower seeds to grow. What I was thinking was, if I can grow maybe three sunflowers, I think I would be able to harvest quite a lot of sunflower seeds from that, which would keep the gerbils going for quite a while. So yeah, I'm gonna plant these little seeds and see if they grow. These are cute. Oh, I nearly lost one. They're like nice and bulbous. They don't really look like you would want to eat them. So I've got about a dozen. I think I'll plant four. I'm feeling quite cheerful at the moment. I'm definitely more of a spring and autumn person. I do like the summer and I do like the winter, but in terms of where I'm happiest, I think autumn's definitely my favourite season. I just love the colours in autumn. But I love the the hope that comes with spring. You know, everything's growing again. All the flowers are coming out. There's so much more colour coming back into the world. I have plans to spend a lot of time in nature this year. I really want to spend some time going for picnics going for walks, doing some foraging. So that's my big plan for 2024. <laughs> Water well with a fine rose. I don't have a rose, I just have a tap. Which four do I want to plant? Two fat ones and two thin ones, maybe. Well, that's two, that's four. Planted. 
So that is done, fabulous. So I'm gonna put these on my windowsill and hopefully soon they will sprout into little, little seedlings. I also bought some tulips. So I need to get these planted before they die. The sun's still out, so I wanna make the most of it. I'm gonna clean up first. again. I've had a very flowery day. I'm feeling very spring-like and I thought the perfect way to wind down this evening would be to draw some flowers, something pretty, and yeah, just take a bit of time to de-stress, I guess. One of my hobbies, I guess, is collecting second-hand books. I just like the look of old books. I don't know what it is. It makes me feel warm inside. I have a couple here that I got. So I have the Reader's Digest Complete Library of the Garden. This one has lots of information about different types of books. It also has information on how to plan your garden and things like that, which I thought was super cute. Very useful for my future farmhouse that I'm determined to buy. <laughs> but yeah, there's like pictures of different kind of leaves and foliage in there and yeah, just a very nice looking book. And the other one that I picked up last week is Concise Flora, which shock horror is also about plants. <laughs> this one's a lot more wordy than the previous one, but it does still have some diagrams. So my plan is I'm going to take these two books downstairs, get a nice hot cup of tea and have some chocolate and draw some pretty flowers and just have a very nice cozy evening. I will film a little bit of me drawing but I'll say goodbye here because Liam's downstairs studying and reading and I don't want to distract him too much by taking my camera down and talking. <laughs> so, but yeah, so I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed today and I'm looking forward to the next one. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.